Many of our students do really great things, but once in a while one does something truly heroic. There are many reasons why the Heroes Award is so special to us. For one, it honors a college professional studies student who's done something truly heroic. It always impresses me to hear the stories of what our students have done. They're, they're doing amazing things, and this gives us a chance to honor them. In some cases, our students have overcome a personal challenge. In other cases, they've advocated for somebody in need. And, and in other cases, they've done things that have really made an impact on the community or the world. The award itself comes with a substantial scholarship. The original scholarship came from friends of Casey Gazdek. Casey was a student of ours in the college who died in 2001. And his friends and family uh, created a fund uh, on his behalf. Casey was their hero. Since then, many people have made contributions to the Heroes Fund uh, on behalf of their heroes as well. So I finished up my undergraduate degree in Eau Claire and found out that I had been accepted into the graduate program here at UWSP and naturally I was thrilled. Um, I had heard great things about the graduate program here. It had a great reputation for um, the staff as well as the coursework and I was born and raised here in Stevens Point so it was naturally a good fit. Um, I was able to live at home and visit my niece and nephew whenever I wanted to. In March this past year, um, I was diagnosed with lymphoma. Um, went in on a Tuesday, um, got the diagnosis. On um, that Friday, I started chemo, and that's something that carried over um, through July. And throughout that summer, I had um, started my summer program here at UWSP. So that's something that I had to kind of try and, and balance was the treatments and school as well. And I was incredibly amazed at, at how supportive the staff was, and, as well as my peers, um, in getting me, pulling me through that, that time and kind of making that seamless um, transition from spring into summer semester with, with all of those difficulties. But in July, this past summer, I was um, diagnosed as cancer free. So, must have been some, doing something right. Oh my goodness, I can't imagine, I can't imagine going through anything like that with the grace that she went through. We, it was like nothing was different for her. Um, and yet you all knew, we all knew, and would kind of watch, and, but yet Alyssa made us forget and all of a sudden you would hear something extraordinary that she would had had to have gone through like some procedure and yet there she would be back in school the next day and you wouldn't even know so after my first day of of chemo treatment i decided that i was going to go to school <laughs> i think that was something that was important to me to not to not let the cancer kind of control me and I was a student, that's, that's who I was, so I was going to come to school. So I sat through Dr. King's swallowing class, trying to take in as much as I could. <laughs> um, little um, foggy brain, but I, but I um, pulled through and made it through the class. And my um, peers were great at taking notes for me and things like that. So it was important for me to kind of keep pushing through and doing the best I could given the circumstances. Going through what I went through now, I feel like I'm ready to take on anything that comes my way. And if I can, if I can handle that and grad school at the same time, nothing's gonna, nothing's gonna get in my way. So I would say to anybody who's kind of going through something similar or any hardship in general, it's just to take things day by day, and and just look around and and try not to focus on the negative. There's plenty of negative out there, but to look around and, f and find the good and, and help and use that to pull you through. Um, I think that was, that was something that was important to me. Something like that is, it, it just stays with you and, and makes a very strong impression. And I know she just has left such as an impression of strength and courage and yet still able to to joke around have fun i mean it, it was the whole package 
My mom has always been the one who's very gentle and she's always there for you. And um, the sensitive one it kind of just kind of keeps you keeps you calm and um, kind of down down on earth. And my dad, he's he's the one where the strength comes in. He's strong-willed and he's he's going to fight for what he believes and I think those two um, perspectives kind of brought together kind of make me who I am. I try to be, you know, sensitive and humble and gentle. But when there's something I I'm going to want to fight for, I'm going to fight for it. And um, strong-willed that way. And I would have to say my fiance as well. He was kind of the hand to hold throughout that all. So I had a few different um, sources of strength through it all that kind of, they all kind of rallied together and, and made it through. So I'm thankful to them all. It's a special award that honors true, real life heroes.